Hey guys, so this is here bringing you another video. Welcome back to Climb to Master. We return a 4 LP in Diamond 3. There's already been a dodge in the Champion Select today, so I've got to keep repeating myself <laughs> like I've always got to do when there's a dodge. Uh, let's ban Jax, because just no. Um, will mention, yesterday wasn't a great day. Um, I, again, I'm repeating myself here, but yesterday a lot of what my stress has been has been my new computer. Um, my new computer has been causing me a lot of headaches. There's just been issues with it. It's blue screened a bunch of times. Uh, it's the, the mouse has been going really weird and like laggy in certain instances. So it's had a lot of issues and I'm hoping I might have fixed it. Touch wood that the BIOS was out of date and the BIOS that it was installed on the computer was nothing to do with the ninth generation CPUs, which I've got. So maybe there was just some compatibility issues going on. So again, I'm not, my hopes aren't up, but I'm hoping. Um, if not, I'm going to be talking to my guys who built the PC for me tomorrow. And I'll talk to them and go, okay, give me a few days just to see if this is okay. And if not, we'll probably end up with getting like a replacement or something. Um, but yeah. So hopefully we fixed it by the BIOS update. Right, what are we going to play? So, again, I was mentioning my win rates. I I've played, a but in preseason alone, I've played 39 champions, by the way. I did say I was going to experiment quite a lot, and we have experimented quite a lot. And some win rates are really good. Some win rates are a bit meh. Um, like my, my uh, Cassidin, LeBlanc, Carthus, and Gangplank, and Poppy and Fizz are 100% win rates. So that's really good. Uh, other win rates, not as good. My Galio win rate is really bad. So, you know, you just got to be smart about what you want to play and why. Right, we're against a Yasu. Uh, what's our comp? Ooh, that's good. Cled with this comp, I think, would go very well. Because it basically gives my team engage and also speeds up the two AD carries so they actually can get in range to kill people. So I quite like that. Quite like that. It, by, by the way, it couldn't. It could be Yasso bot lane because some people have been doing Yasso bot lane. Just to point it out, okay, it's not Yasso top. Um, there we go. God, Skarner. Don't see Skarner in a long time. Uh, if you get a replacement, will you have to spend a whole day restoring applications again? Yes. <laughs> yeah, I will. It would be my third installation of a PC within like two months. <laughs> yay but again i need it it's not just a hobby obviously my computer it's my job um so yeah it's a pretty important thing but anyway team comp's locked in uh i probably will say i prefer my team comp but we'll see how it goes in today's episode of climb to master all right welcome to the loading screen so as you can see it's like a diamond four predominantly game again the mmr has gone down because of my losses uh the asso against hasn't got much experience also has a negative kd so hopefully I'll do well against him. Uh, but then for negative win rate, positive, negative, positive with over 120 games. That's impressive. Uh, only four, but again, we played a bit of preseason. A positive, positive, neutral, and positive, And that's pretty good with that amount of games. Uh, so again, remember, the more games that someone has and the, the positive win rate, that is more impressive. Um, even if it's like, you know, you're only 3% over neutral, when you've got nearly 300 games, that's a lot of LP gaining. So that's actually a really good sign that they're good at that champion. So... Yeah. And that's why when somebody has, I'd say, over 100 games played on a champion and they've got a negative win rate, ooh, it hurts me, man, because that is really, really hurting um, their climb. Uh, so I will say we are doing a KDA challenge on quarterback. First game of the day and all that. To I love Cled. Oh, yeah, Skarna. So weird. Yeah. He had to be there, didn't he? I can't remember the last time I saw a Skarna, by the way. Skarna is a weird champion because a lot of people think he's, like, really good. And there's other people think that he's really trash. I'm in the camp that I don't think he's very good. Uh, I think he's good if you have a team comp that is well suited to him and you, you know, you can build around it. Damn it. He just got like 10 gold or whatever it is. 
Yeah, I heard about the capsule free thing. Um, so again, I don't really, I, I hate drama. People know this, so I kind of avoid it. But there was this thing recently that Riot did a mistake that they're in the store. Somehow you could buy something for blue essence. I, again, it was something to do with Riot points. I'm not really sure. Um, but it basically led to if people were really quick about doing it, they could own everything basically in League within reason uh, if they did it quick enough. And uh, basically Riot have come out and said, yeah, we're not reverting those accounts. So there's a lot of people that had like, you know, a lot of blue essence and now converted stuff and now own everything in the game. I don't know. And Riot have said that they're not reverting it. And people like, I I've had some comments going, Huz, as somebody that you do own everything by buying it uh, yourself, you know, do I feel a little bit cheated? And honestly, couldn't really care. Um, but that's just me as a person. But I don't know. I what, what I'd find weird is, again, I haven't looked into it too much, but I find it weird if Riot is just simply not reverting it. Because not even just for the m morale to people, the money lost. The money lost from... Wait. Wait. Graves? Uh, wait. Where did you go? Where did he go? He was coming here, and then... I have no idea what just happened. Did he... Okay, people in Twitch chat that aren't playing the game and can, like, look at that stuff. Did he go this way, and then I was trying to bring him here, and then he went around... He changed his mind. I think that's what just happened. Wow. Holy moly. That was... Uh, huh. Again, uh, maybe I should have been looking at the minimap more, but when you're actually in the middle of a fight, you can't always look at minimap right as you're doing it. And I, the reason why I engaged and went on the Kled, uh, the, the Yasuo, is because I saw him here. And then he just turned around. Wow, rip. Now, the Ignite early was uh, basically because I wanted to back off because I knew Gra Well, I thought Graves was nearby. So I'll Ignite to do bonus damage. Graves can finish him off. I get an assist. That's basically why the Ignite was there. But Graves didn't show up. That was the problem. That was uh, odd. Really odd. Always be careful when he's done a bunch of E's, by the way, because the damage of E... A lot of people don't realize that, but the damage of Yasuo E goes up every single time he does it up to four. Uh, still worth Twitch is alive. Do I think Skarner should have a rework? Uh, pro probably. But he's not high in the priority list. Uh, Z Cannon. I'm just going to be patient a little bit here. Get off Kled's lawn. I can still win this lane, I think. He changed his path over and over. Wait, he did it more than once? The Graves? Again, that's the type of thing that I'll definitely be looking at when I edit this video together, just to see what happened. Because again, I definitely could be in the wrong, and that's what the point of a live commentary. I'm live right now. I can't tell if it's like 100% what I say, because I can't go back and watch it, right? When you're watching a YouTube video, you're like, oh no, Huz, that was bad, because you're watching a video. You can rewind it. Uh, right now, me recording that, I don't have the luxury of re rewinding it, sadly. Oh. Wait, that guy is level 4. That worked out really well. Because I even got to keep my ignite. Because I was about to ignite him when it came up. But then I was like, hey, Karth Assault. 
Which I will say, that Karthus ultimate actually did more damage than I thought it was going to do. Oh, that should be a pressured off Skarna. I don't think a Skarna can fight a Graves. That's bad. He must have got caught by a charm. Eh, she's pretty low, but yeah, he mu the only way he would have died there is if he got caught off a charm. I am a real American. Again, that song is stuck in my head, and I'm not even American. How much longer do I see myself playing League? Oh god, years probably. Again, I love this game. There are there are decisions in this game that I do question a lot. Um, and, you know, make me relatively unhappy. But, you know, I play a lot of other games. People know that. But, I'll always go back to League, you know. I've been playing a little bit more League in my evenings recently. Because I've just been enjoying it. Well, like, again, League is my job. So, technically, I'm doing extra overtime in the evenings. Um, because I'm just enjoying it, man. Alright, so I'm going to put the Twitch clip in uh, the chat. I can't look at it in the thing, but yeah. Yeah, people, um, by the way, have really enjoyed when I've done recommendations of series and uh, anime and stuff. Again, I might have recommended it before, but Goblin Slayer. Uh, the first episode is a little bit rough. Think of it as like Game of Thrones Season 1. That just because they can like be a little bit gruesome and over the top, they, they are. They get your attention in Episode 1 of Goblin Slayer. Um, there we go. Um, so yeah, get past episode one, because when I watched episode one, I was like, Yeesh. but it gets a lot better after it. Yeah, Mob Psycho season two. If you've not watched Mob Psycho, it's really weird, but that's good as well. Um, one Punch Man. One Punch Man, I think, is a really good one if you've never watched anime before. Because One Punch Man is a parody of Superman and Goku and stuff like that. That's all it is. It's it's not really about the character of One Punch Man. It's about the characters around him. Because One Punch Man, by his name, he one punches everything. He's ridiculously overpowered. Uh, and nothing in the anime can ever beat him. And that's the point. It's, it's more of a comedy parody on the likes of Superman, Goku, and those type of characters. It's, it's really good. Uh, Overlord? Yeah, Overlord's good, but it, it, Overlord's had some rises and some dips. Um, season 1 of Overlord I thought was really good. I think Season 2 was a bit of a dip and we just had Season 3, I think? Season 3 was better, but a lot of people are freaked out because they're like, but Overlord, he's a bad guy. It's like, well, we knew that at the beginning of the anime. Like, the, the point of Overlord is that he is an evil character and a lot of people, and he, to be, he was fighting with being evil a little bit, but he's now fully embraced being evil. And a lot of people going, but no, my hero character. He's like, he's never been a hero. He's not a hero. Ooh, okay. We got his ignite. That's not that bad. I was the reason why I took the fight is because uh, Karthus ultimates up. Carthus! Yeah! Double! Ooh, go! Give them Graves! Give me an assist! Assist! Gra I'm actually really happy Graves did that because if he del if Graves dilly dallied and just waited to auto attack the Skarna, I doubt I would have got an assist. I got one because he just killed him instantly. Thank you. Hell yeah. That's what we want, baby! So I mucked up the early game. Oh, well. Oh, oh. Twitch chat saying the Graves mucked it up by, like, their reactions because someone put the clip in chat. Maybe, but I still died, so I must... You know, I, I made a mistake somewhere. I'll admit that. Interesting. Full Metal Alchemist is good. Yeah, watch Full Metal, Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood if you want to watch that. That's, a, that's an anime that I think everybody should watch at least once. Same with Death Note. You should watch it once. Yeah, 
Yeah, that uh, Lulu played that a little bit sloppy. Oh, Ari just chose to go all in. Well, Ari's with really high confidence always impressed me, man. So we've got another L9 mid laner. God, they're like... Bleh. Yeah, I'm recovering from the early game basically because I uh that wasn't good. The rest of my team is not doing great, it has to say. A say it has to be said. There we go, I can speak English. But our late game is absolutely insane, I will say that. Twitch and Carthus, like hello. That's nuts. I think Twitch No, Vayne just took the crown. I know again win rates is something you can be, be gotta be careful of, but Twitch Twitch for months has had the highest win rate um, in like 40 minute games plus. Vayne, I think, has just taken that back because Vayne used to have that. But yeah, Twitch is still second. He's still one of the best champions if the game goes 40 minutes. Why would I take the plant if I'm going to recall? Deny it to other people. If Skarna was hovering around this area, which you can see he is, he's low health. I've, I've denied him some healing. It's worth doing. A few things might this up. Oh, I missed. Why is... What the hell? I have Carth Assault, by the way, that's why I'm still fighting. Oh, man. Missed the Q, which was a bit bad from me, but it ended fine. Isn't Cog good? Cog is a hyper carry, but Cog has very bad survivability. Like, Twitch has got a stealth. But, well, actually, both of them, Twitch and Vayne, have stealths. Cog has nothing like that. Uh, worth. Uh, yeah, worth, because Twitch got the kill and Thresh got the kill. God, how is this Karthus losing that bad? Okay, at least he got a trade. It was a trade, that's fine. Trades are okay for a Karthus, because he's going to outscale. Kled, by the way, I'm pretty sure is going to be in my champion pool for the upcoming season. I quite like him. There's some things I still need to get better at, obviously, because I've only played a, a hand... Really, I've only played a handful of games on this champion. Yeah. I'm tempted... Like, I want to kill him again, but I'm tempted just to wait for Ignite. I am a... <laughs> They're doing rift. Then they showed up uninvited. Oh. Might as well take this. They still have vision here, but Oh, he's doing it. Okay, so the Carthus is losing mid lane because he mispositions really badly, basically. Why is he positioning himself to be near the Ari? 
weird. Oh, I thought that would actually kill him. Oh, I should get him. That was a little bit messy. But I'd say Jax is the best top laner right now. Probably. If you take, like, all the categories, like... Jax is one of the easiest top laners to play. And one of the strongest at the same time. So, like, if you add those two, two things together, it's quite hard to argue against, like, Jax as, a, as an entity. But I don't personally play that much Jax because I find him really boring. Um, again, he's just an auto-attacking. That's it. Like, again, Kled auto-attacks, but there's a lot more to the champion. You know, there's a skill shot with your Q that you basically have to land. Yeah, there's a lot more to champion like Kled. Um... And the funny thing is, Jax is still stronger than Kled, so... <laughs> Do I think Nasus is ban-worthy? Uh, maybe. Possibly. I'm still getting that mouse issue, by the way. A little bit of mouse lag. I, again, that pretty much is just going to confirm that I'm going to just go for a replacement PC. This PC is just, like, having a, a new issue nearly every single day. It's crazy. Oh, man. I'd actually really like to kill this before. Ooh! That was a really good hit. I cannot be bothered to chase that. I didn't expect Ari, I don't know why. Probably should have. Actually don't know if I needed to sell that. No, I didn't. Will I play Maokai this season? Nah, he's too boring. I like tanks, but I need interactive tanks. make VODs watchable for everyone. I do. It's They're called my YouTube channel. Why would he flash? Uh, Graves shouldn't have flashed. Yes, I was 100% dead.
I'm quite strong. <coughs> oh God, people are cringy, man. So we're getting really fed. Yasuo has got into kind of the standard feeding Yasuo, but we've got to be careful of Ari, really. Like, the Thresh is actually really strong. That's kind of weird. Mm. Yeah, we do bound quite quick with our comp. Karthus, Twitch, Graves, Kled. Do I think Vladimir is good in uh, low yellow? Mm. He's quite team reliant, but he also can do a lot by himself, so it depends how good you are at him, really. I think we can win this fight. Maybe not. I don't know what happened to Twitch. Did he get... I don't know what happened to him. I don't think he did anything. Rip. Did he get hooked? Oh, if he got hooked, that's completely his fault. Because if he doesn't answer us and he had flash up and stuff, then it's kind of like, yeah, that's not our fault if you got hooked. Shame I don't have ult. Wow, that Ari is so fed. Why did he keep going in? Oof. Oof. No vision of Thrash. Yeah, but if he still had Flash up. Oh my god, I'm dead. Cancel. No. We've lost this game, sadly, probably. Unless we can maintain the late game, but the Twitch is just a bit too unreliable and the Karthus is not getting involved. Oh, please hit those Qs. Oh my god. Yeah. Rip. Wait, did he walk just straight into him? Oh my god, he walked straight into the Asuo. How can we protect a Twitch that his positioning is just really bad? He literally just went straight into the Asuo. Wait, what? Oh. oh well, win some, lose some. Just can't do anything with his Twitch. It happens, I guess. Mm. 
we didn't press R. Yeah, we lost. GG. I just don't know what I could have done more, really. Bummer. Oh, they're not ending. The Lulu, uh, it's the bot lane, isn't it? One and nine Lulu, and three and seven Twitch. God, Yasuo's even got to neutral now. Damn. Again, yeah, the problem with Twitch, right? He's really strong, but if you're playing bad on Twitch, it blows it up more than normal AD carries, I think, because like you've got nothing to escape. There's, there's nothing to help you out in a tricky situation. Like, the stealth is useless when you get caught and stuff. So, if you have a bad game on Twitch, you have a really bad game on Twitch. On the enemy team, just like that snowball that just happened, they might be too far ahead now. Others. I did as much as I could, man. I think I'll still upload this because I, you know, we played fine, and it does show that sometimes there's not always something you can do. Again, I'm I'm fine with uploading losses. Um. It's just one of the bad quality losses. It's a bit meh. And this wasn't a stomp. It was more unfortunate stuff that was going on. So I'm fine with uploading it. Uh, I'll give it to the Graves because he played quite well. Just the bot lane. Our bot lane was just a little bit too heavy. Like 1 and 10 and 3 and 8. And saying that, the rest of my team all kind of fed too. But what can you do? Uh, Ari got incredibly fed. And they're like... Eh. Oh well. We went 965, 177 farm. Lost 4 LP, but whatever. Damage wise, doing alright damage. Again, Karthus, you'll naturally think that he's going to do a lot of damage, so that's good. But then when you see like your AD carry Twitch doing that little damage, like the, the enemy Thresh nearly did the same amount. That's obviously where there's a bit of a problem. And obviously, yeah, Graves, he played well in the early game, but when the enemy are snowboarding like that, there's not a lot you can do. So, I don't know. It was one of those games. Uh, first game of the day, warming up. I played okay. Early game was a little bit rough, but then we pulled it back to the Asuo. So, I'm happy with that. Uh, but yeah, if you guys did enjoy, throw a like on it. Uh, subscribe. Check out Quarterback. Link down below. And I'll see you guys next time.